I think this has uh, mainly to do with with the that the technology is ready to be deployed. So nowadays in our field in the embedded systems we have uh, that technology available. We have chips, we have our modules and so it can really be deployed and used for, for actual products. Well, we are not coming from, from that uh, kind of AI direction, which is an embedded company and we basically sell all kinds of different modules and of course now we also have modules that have the capability to run AI on them. Well, we are in some of those markets that you mentioned the buzzwords as well, like IoT is basically what, what we've been doing more or less all the time. It's, it's about sensor data, actuators and, and basically processing some of that and then controlling machinery or whatever with that. I think the, this new technology with GPU computing it just offers a tremendous increase in, in what can be done basically with an embedded system. You know, while traditionally we had a lot of customers that even came from microcontrollers and they basically used system on modules to, to be able to much easier interact, for example, with the internet, like what is what uh, IoT does, that can now be brought to a next level basically with GPU computing where you can do many more applications which we couldn't have thought that five years ago that it would be possible really. I think the biggest challenge with a lot of this technology will be that uh, right now basically a too big diversity of different kind of IoT protocols and all this kind of stuff. And I think there will have to be much more uh, standardization and that, that all these different devices really can interact. Well, I think it, it's just gonna go into even more areas we haven't really thought about that it will be going, which for us is a, it's a tremendous opportunity, but also a challenge to, to really be able to address all these different kinds of markets. Mm -hmm.